How to Draw Abigail the Giraffe by Katherine Rainier. These are Katherine Rainier's steps, and she's teaching you, and we're going to do it together. And I'm going to take time so you can take the steps to do it along with her. The first thing you need to do is draw a knobbly strawberry shape with a pencil on a nice piece of paper, just like this. Go ahead and take the time to do that. Make sure you have it nice and big enough so that you can do the other parts of the giraffe too. It shouldn't be as small as a strawberry. It should be nice and big. The next step is draw a slightly smaller strawberry shape at the bottom of the one you drew, just like this. Do you notice how they're overlapping? You might have to do some erasing. Now these are very important. You need to draw these two sausage-like shapes on top of the bigger strawberry. These are Abigail's horns. These are called ossicones. Are you ready to move on? Now for ears, Abigail needs big ears so she can hear whispering ladybirds. They look a bit like two leaves on either side of her head. Do you notice how they don't match exactly? That's why this is per perfect for kindergartners. This is why I love Katherine Rainier. She's a bit wibbly wobbly. And a neck, very simple but very important to a giraffe. They need a really long neck to reach the juiciest leaves at the top of the tree. We're getting there. Now draw two black dots for eyes and two upside down raindrops for the nostrils. Then draw a smile. She's very happy that you're drawing her. Now, with a nice black line over your pencil lines, drawing with a pen like this, you can erase the pencil line. If you don't have a marker like that, that's okay. You can do it with a crayon, or you can just leave your pencil lines. Then you can paint some color for her ears and her forehead and her nose. Nice golden browns would be perfect, but if you don't have that, you can use crayons. But there's really nothing stopping you from making Abigail perfect, if, purple if you fancy it. You could choose any color. Now for the very, very fun bit, the splotches. You could copy how she's done it, or you can try making your own. Hooray, you finished, well done. Now there's just one more thing to do. Let's count Abigail's splotches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twen